Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something super fun. In my last video, I put up this picture as my ideal goal for my next hair color. Clearly, I did not get there. And I said that I wanted to go back to my original color, which was something similar to that. I've still been absolutely obsessed with this color. I don't know who this girl is, by the way. I saw this picture on Instagram, but I've been so obsessed with her color, just the entire just setting of the picture, of the hair. It was goals to me. And I realized... <laughs> This isn't my only head of hair, and that theoretically, I could just pop on a wig instead of having to bleach my own hair. Didn't occur to me, but today I am going to be doing somewhat of a transformation video into a natural hair Stella, because I be missing my old self. I... <sighs> There's been too many colors recently. I, I need to go back and just settle down a bit. The first thing we need to do is sort out my wig because that's kind of what this entire thing is uh, dependent on. So these are the two wigs that I'm currently considering. They are the two that really like match my own natural hair color. My own natural is a bit darker than that one and it's a bit warmer than this one. I go for this one because it's cuter and a bit lighter but it's got bangs and I really don't feel like bangs today. So I think I'm gonna go for this bad boy. Why did I put my shelf so high? I can't reach there. This is the wig we're going for today. She's a bad boy beauty. She's like 20 something inches and she's a sexy, sexy gal. Oh, now that we have our wig, she's a cutie, isn't she? I love it. This is somewhat what my own natural hair color looks like. Mind you, it was never in my entire life this long. But I guess that's why wigs are so incredible. I can't see anything, so I need to put in some lenses. I get so many questions as to where my contact lenses are from, whether I am wearing contact lenses. This is my natural eye color. I don't really like them because there are times when it turns just complete gray and I hate gray eyes. I wish I was born with like really, really dark chocolate brown eyes. I, those are my favorite eye color on literally everyone. However, obviously I can't complain. So many people lust for my eyes, which thank you. We're gonna change it up today because all of my contact lenses are prescription contact lenses. So almost all of them are from TDDI lenses. I'm gonna link them down below as well as a coupon code you can use if you want. I feel like ash brown lenses, I don't know. You can sort of see it, ash brown, like dark blue. So even those might be. Let's try them, let's try dark blue. Let's zoom you back out. The best way to apply a wig and kind of go on with the whole transformation is to first start by applying your entire base makeup because I like to lay my wig down and then let it sit with like a little hair wrap on it and when obviously I have that I can't really do the rest of my face makeup. So I'm actually go, gonna go ahead and start off my entire base makeup complete with powder and bronzer and then I'm gonna go ahead and glue on the wig then. I like my freckles. I think I'm gonna keep freckles. My table is such a mess. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is obviously primer. I received this in the mail recently. This is the XX Revolution Primer. And it is, it is a gel thing filled, filled with blue glitter. And I literally mean they are pretty visible. It's blue glitter. <laughs> I want to use this primer. It is the H2 Glow primer. When you put it on, you see glitter on your face. It's also quite hydrating, so I think it's like also a pretty good like nourishing uh, cream. I need to balm my lips. Where's my lip balm? Because we're feeling fancy, we're going in with one by Guerlain, and it's also got a bunch of glossies in it. Next up, foundation. Today I'm going to be using, I think, the Dior Skin Nude Air. It's a bit dark for my face, so I'm going to be using the Dior Skin Forever Glow. Mix these two together and see what we get. And then on my hand, thing and just blend it all in. I always like to go in with my foundation over my eyes as well. I don't know why why there are certain influencers who don't do that. I don't know. Yeah, me, I look like a newborn baby. It's just hard to apply it to your chin area. For concealers, I think I'm gonna do a mix of two. Always been obsessed with the Dior Forever Skin Concealer. I'm also gonna do a bit of the XX Revolution Concealer because it is bright. Look at my bare natural nails. I haven't been to my nail tech in like three months, so. Hello, babies. 
and it's like a banana. I've also got a pimple. Okay, let's see what the hell this thing does. Mm -mm -mm, it's like Kardashian bright. I'm going in with the NYX Away With Glow Drops. I previously hated this product, now I love it. It's great for when you want a bit of like underlying glow as well. That's it, that's all I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna blend it in really quickly because the one reason I didn't really like it is because it sets so incredibly quickly and then you'll be left with a uh, dot. I can't live with a sticky face. So I'm gonna be at an event and I feel that my face is starting to stick. I'm gonna go crazy. We're going to do bronzing because, it, yeah. I'm using the this one. I'll probably add more later on as well, once the wig is set and everything, but I do want to add like a small layer now, just so I know that, you know, I'm covered. Okay, now that we've got that sorted and we've got the biggest mess on our table, it's time to start laying down a wig. Okay. So many ways that you can lay down your hair underneath it, and this is probably the worst one, but this is the one that I always go for. Splitting my hair, crossing them on top of each other, and... <laughs> this is such a bad thing, I'm a wig person, and this is... Uh... I don't mind if it like comes down a bit, but the thing that you should avoid is like a bump anywhere in this region, because obviously then the wig's gonna like bubble out which is something you should avoid next up I used to use this one before and this comes out clear it takes a lot longer to dry down and usually you need like the hair dryer and the whole shebang this one comes out white but it dries down so much faster turn this back a bit our glue and apply this basically on our hairline. I'm gonna try avoid my hair because it's quite a pain taking it off your hair. Essentially, what well, you cannot see right now because here, um, I am trying to lay down the lace portion of my hair uh, wig and not really the hair itself. <laughs> Why do you have so much hair? I'm hoping it's gonna look okay. That's all I'm gonna say. Time for eyebrows, and I don't know what I'm doing, but I think by Anastasia, it is their granite brow powder duo. This eyebrow of mine is always like a bit like drooping down. It's way lower than this one, as you can see. This one looks like I've got a brow lift, and I don't. For eyes, I'm thinking of using the It's All Good palette by ColourPop. This kind of a pattern, like kind of a bit warm, autumn-y. I think I want to start with this color right over here. Oh, I like this. It's so warm. I love warm colors. Now I think I'm going to blend it out with this orange color called You, called you Got It. That do got it, baby. Try not to mess this up because blending colors with another colors is always a bad idea with me. I don't know how to do it. Did that actually work? I think it actually worked. Drag some under with that same orange color. Okay, let's do it on the other eye and see what we can hopefully achieve. Can I get a similar result on the other side of my face? Please let me get a similar result. <laughs> I'm gonna stop there because I feel like if I do anything else, I'm gonna ruin it. I really like these two colors right here. Which one would go better? Let's go with the pinkier one because I think it looks kind of cuter. Put liner with my classic eye line because I love liner. There's only one thing that I know how to do properly well in makeup, and that one thing is eyeliner. I think these lashes are gonna be too dramatic. Are you gonna be too dramatic? 
No. We're gonna try to do the same exact thing with my eyelashes as with the eyeliner and it's in the fact that we want a lift effect, not a sinking. We want almond eyes, basically. The thing with lower lashes is that you can't really move down because otherwise it's gonna go all on my face. So I have to look like this for like forever. I look like a bitch now. Admit it. Admit it. Okay, so I want to amplify my bronze up a bit and I've got this Dior thing. I don't know what its name is. Blush, I'm going in with this NYX Ombre Blush in Feel the Heat. For highlights, I'm going in with the Revolution XX Highlighter in Echo. It's really pretty. <laughs> I do feel like a bit of freckles, so I'm going in with the Dior Show Brow Styler. I'm not gonna go too intense, I'm kind of just accentuating the ones that I already have. Because in summer I do develop quite a few freckles. And because you often have a lot of underlying pigment, I'm going in again. For lips, I think I'm gonna go pretty simple with a nude lip, but I do feel like a bit of contouring, so I'm going in with this really old, tiny little burgundy eyeliner. Inglot and Jennifer Lopez lipstick in... Does it not have the name? Jennifer Lopez and Inglot lip gloss in Goldie Lips. Oh. This is the entire face. I'm actually really in love with it. I was going for <laughs> a natural look. This, yeah, sure, okay. I'll be honest, I think I messed up the kind of laying process. Worse, I'll be honest. For jewelry, I actually got three new items from Happiness Boutique. I'll be honest, this is like the first bit of anything that I've ordered since this whole pandemic. I'm really not an online shopper, by the way. <laughs> I really don't order anything. So this is the first thing that I received in the mail that I was like, yes. Oh. And it's amazing because what they're offering currently is that for each item you buy, they plant a tree. You planted a tree. One tree is planted for every item sold. So I think that's really, really amazing from them. Their pieces are incredible. I love statement earrings. I really, really love them. Don't recall them being like too expensive. These are their earrings. I really love them. They're very, very like in your face and I love them and I'm living for them. Two other items. These are rose gold, so they're not, they're not even gonna match, but I wanna wear them. I don't think this one matches. <laughs> I don't think you're meant to wear them all at once, so I think I'm gonna remove it. But as I say, these are going to be all down below. I think you'll know where this is about to go. Hello. Two and a half hours later, it's only understandable. How girls spend this much time getting ready just to go to a club to then just sweat it off and have a guy throw a drink in their face. I don't understand. I'll barely do this for an event, but I'll do it for a video because you, you get to learn. I don't know. That was it. That was the entire video. I'm actually really happy with it. I think it looks super amazing. I love the wig. I miss this. I love, I love blonde. Blah, that's so contradicting to what I normally say. Let me rephrase. I love this blonde because it's natural. It's, it's home. It's comforting. It's such a... <gasps> Oh, it's such a queenly look. I'm going to be linking every single thing that I use today, hopefully down in the description box below if I manage to find everything. Do not be mad at me if I don't. I like it. This is basically the hair that I was trying to achieve last video, but anyways. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll give it a go, and I will see you in my next video. I think you know where this is about to go. Uh-huh.